सिस्टम डिजाइन ऑटो कंप्लीट सर्च हाय गाइस माय नेम इज मनीष कुमार एंड इन टूडेज सेशन वी विल क्रिएट सिस्टम डिजाइन ऑफ ऑटो कंप्लीट सर्च सो व्हाट इज ऑटो कंप्लीट सर्च सो इफ यू टाइप समथिंग लाइक यू नो टी आई एंड रिसेंटली इफ यू सर्च टाइम सो इट विल गिव यू दोज ऑप्शन लाइक यू मे बी टाइपिंग टाइम यू कैन क्विकली पिक राधर टाइपिंग द इंटायर थिंग सो लेट्स नॉट डिले एंड start the session see you in the session guys hi guys welcome to my channel so today we will create system design of auto complete search so let's go to step 1 and that is collect the function requirements so what auto complete search does provide suggestions based upon recent search and trending items so i think that will be the key functional requirement and what will be out of scope here out of scope will be spell checker we want talk about that and also like you know there are certain filters like filter for uh, obscene stuff so we will keep it out of scope so we captured the function requirement let's go to step 2 and that will be a non functional requirement nfrs so the key nfr here will be ultra low latency user want to see suggestions near real time as he or she type they want to see the options and then second will be definitely highly available and highly scalable because user will keep searching for new things and which means that database will going to be continuously growing and user base will also be heavy for this kind of thing so this definitely has to be highly scalable so i think these are enough from this video point of view let's talk about apis so apis here will be i don't see too many apis seriously it will be get suggestion simple and the parameter will go will be typed a string so user typing the string and the options are coming now let's talk about the system design so before going into system design let me have the user side we need to understand how the auto search store the data and there is a key data structure what we need to talk here that will be the try data structure what it is let's understand with an example let's say that there are some recent search words tree time ticket and there are trending items also like train so these are the words so how a system is store this information that's going to be interesting so it create actually a try data structure which is like a tree type structure like these letters all letters are beginning with the t and then the second possible option here in these letter could be the r and time and ticket which could be i and similarly it will go further down so let me draw it for you and then i will be back you can see in this try data structure each leaf node is actually a word so it begin with t then r then e then e so basically up to this point this is pointing to word tree similarly each leaf node here so this is the data structure how the information will be saved in the database 
So let me move this entire thing to a side. So here we have the user. And what user will be? User will be talking to the, when he type a word, it go to auto complete search service. And then it will look in the database where this try data structure we talked about is stored and see like if user type the word tr it will see oh, which are the possible leaf nodes here so for tr okay there may be tree and there may be train and it will send back the options to the user so this is functionally a good system design it's like having the information and sending it back to user now the question comes here is or before that let's talk about the database we have not talked about the database so far so we know that database will be continuously growing db and for non-functional requirement saying it has to be highly scalable so i'll suggest we can use Cassandra here because Cassandra has the cluster node which will make it you know highly available and scalable and it supports for continuously growing DB so I think Cassandra is a good option here so now let's talk about the NFRs so in the NFR we have first NFR is ultra low latency so how ultra low latency gonna work here so user is sending information to autocomplete search autocomplete search is fetching information from database and so if the application will go in the database and walk through this entire tri data structure to find out the different leaf nodes based upon the input let you know letters that's not definitely going to help in ultra low latency what we need we need here a caching layer and that caching may we can have reddish why because we need a persistent caching here so what it will do when user type a word here it will go in the caching and find out the word reddish will keep the information something like this in this example so it will keep the results ready like for example for tr there are the options train and tree for ti there are the options time and I think it was ticket yes ticket so this information is ready and stored in radish how that's happening when the new words coming so here will be a service and and rather service I'll say it will be a a queue and this gonna put in the queue that new word and here are the workers they are continuously creating the tri data structure and storing it in the database now the now there is another service this and we call it like let's say result building service And this is continuously updating the result in the radish so that's how it will work and worker will inform the result building service when, as soon as the new things will come and update it here so basically now in this design we have the data ready in the radish so as the user typing the word it is going into the caching and like sending back the options so this is ultra low latency now the next requirement here is the highly available and highly scalable so our database is Cassandra we are good with it 
we are using caching we have workers queue decoupling but the auto complete search we have to talk about that if this service will be down our system is down it's not fault tolerance to do that what we need to do we need to introduce a layer here which is gateway and take out all the session information from autocomplete search it will be taking care of auth redirecting and session db here so so now this service is stateless which means we can horizontally scale it up having a load balancer in place which can balance the load and we here because we are need ultra low latency so it will be based upon least response time so now if you will see our system is highly available highly scalable ultra low latency so seems like a good design guys it's pretty reasonable thank you so much guys and if you like this content please make sure you subscribe the channel and see you in another video thank you so much guys